Hey kids, it's Mrs. Davis here at home with another math lesson for you. We have been working on 2D shapes and we have been working on partitioning, fractioning, dividing those 2D shapes, those whole shapes into equal parts. We've learned that you can take a straight line and you can divide a 2D shape in half and when you do that, you'll have two halves of a whole. We also learned that you can take a straight line and another straight line and you can divide a whole shape into four equal parts or fourths. One part of that is a fourth of that shape. And we were also thinking about fractions. And we were pizza makers. Remember our little activity where we had a whole pizza and then we divided it in half to share with two people. And then we also fractioned a pizza into four equal parts. And we discovered that the more times you divide a whole shape, you can get more pieces, but the pieces are smaller. We also talked about the fact that this is a really helpful life skill. So once you start partitioning and fractioning and dividing, it can be helpful. You can learn to share equally among people. So that's what, what brings us to our fun activity today. We're going to be thinking about partitioning, fractioning, dividing with a story. The story is called The Doorbell Rang. In this story, Ma is making cookies for her children and she is going to let them share their cookies equally. And then the doorbell rings and friends start coming over and they have to start sharing among a lot of friends. So I want you to enjoy the story, the doorbell rang, and as we're reading, I want you to think about how many cookies each child will get when more kids come over. All right, here we go. I'm going to get my tray of cookies ready because I'm going to show you this every time the doorbell rings. We're always going to be starting with our whole number of 12 cookies today in the story, The Doorbell Rang. There's the title page, and Ma is there with her tray of 12 cookies. I've made some cookies for tea, said Ma. Good, said Victoria and Sam. We're starving. Share them between yourselves, said Ma. I made plenty. So Ma gives them the cookies, there's 12, and Sam and Victoria are gonna share the 12 cookies between each other. So there are two kids, 12 cookies. Can you guess how many cookies each kid will get? Shout out that answer to me. I'm gonna turn the page now, let's see if you were right. That's six each, said Sam and Victoria. They look as good as grandma's, said Victoria. They smell as good as grandma's, said Sam. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Hmm, wonder who it could be. Ah, it was Tom and Hannah from next door. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. So there's two kids at the table and two more are coming in and they're gonna share the cookies equally, so four kids, 12 cookies. Can you figure out how many cookies each child will get? All right, shout out that answer for me. Did you guess three? If you did, you were right. That's three each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma, said Tom, and look as good, said Hannah. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Oh no. I guess it's some more friends. What do you think? 
It was Peter and his little brother. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. So there's four kids at the table. Two more kids are coming in. Four plus two. Hmm, I think that's six kids now. Six kids sharing 12 cookies. Can you figure out how many cookies each kid will get? All right, shout out that answer. Did you guess two each? If you did, that's correct. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Each child will get two cookies. That's two each, said Victoria and Sam. They look as good as your grandma's, said Peter and smell is good. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma. As the doorbell rang, ding dong. Uh-oh, it was Joy and Simon and their four cousins. Hmm, two plus four is six. Six kids at the table and six more kids coming in and they're gonna be sharing this tray of 12 cookies. Now, hmm, six kids plus six kids. I think that makes 12 kids all together. If there's 12 cookies and 12 kids, can you figure out how many cookies each child will get? This one's a pretty easy one. I bet you guessed one each. Let's see if that's right. Come in, said Ma, you can share the cookies. That's one each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma, said Joy, and look as good, said Simon. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang, ding dong. Oh no. If there are 12 cookies and 12 kids and each child gets one cookie, that means there's no more left to share, but the doorbell just rang. Oh no. The only thing they'd be able to do now is to half their whole cookies to share. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Let's see. The doorbell rang and rang. Hmm, Ma's not answering it yet. She's not sure what to do. Oh dear, said Ma, as the children stared at the cookies on their plates. Perhaps you'd better eat them up before we open the door. We'll wait, said Sam. Ah, oh, he's a nice kid, isn't he? He's willing to share his one cookie, even if he has to break it in half. Hmm, I wonder who's at that door. Oh my goodness, guess who it is? It's Grandma. It was grandma with an enormous tray of cookies, thank goodness. How nice to have so many friends to share them with, said grandma. It's a good thing I made a lot. And no one makes cookies like grandma, said ma, as the doorbell rang. That's a cute story. I love being able to think about the fact that I can not only take shapes, whole shapes, and partition them equally, but I can also take whole groups of things and I can partition or fraction or share them equally. Now, I've got a job for you to do. In your packet, packet number two, I sent home a sheet that looks like this. I know you were probably wondering what in the world I was sending a sheet of cookies home. What in the world will we do with those? Here's your job. It goes with this story. I want you to color these cookies and cut them out. I've already done that with mine and I thought it would be really fun to put them on a cookie tray just to pretend like I was actually working with real cookies. Now I've got a couple jobs that I want you to do with our story, The Doorbell Ring. First of all, the first thing we did was to listen to the story. We've already done that, so that part's done. Second thing you're gonna do, it says color the cookies from packet number two and cut them out. So that's um, your second part that you're gonna do. And then 
I want you to arrange a group of 12 cookies. There are 12 cookies on that paper. So once you get them colored and cut out, I want you to organize them because I know that when we have math materials and we organize them, it's easier for us to use them and easier us to be able to pull them quickly. So organize them. I did mine in groups of four, three rows of four. Now, here's what I want you to do. And I want you to have fun with this too. So your first job is you're going to pass out these whole cookies, all 12 of them, between two people. So I was looking in my cabinet and I was actually looking for some paper plates, but I didn't have any. So I just pulled two plates out of my cabinet. You can ask your mom if you can use some plates for this, or if not, just use two pieces of paper. So pretend this is you and this is a friend. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take this whole group of 12 cookies and you're going to share those cookies between you and a friend, two. So you're gonna divide this whole group in half equally. One friend gets a half and you get a half. Now here's how I like to do um, if I'm sharing and passing out stuff. When I do it this way, it really helps me stay organized and I make sure that I have an equal amount on each plate. I take a cookie, put it on one plate, and then I take another cookie and I put it on the second plate. So I'm just gonna keep on passing out the cookies. You get a cookie, your friend gets a cookie. You get a cookie, your friend gets a cookie. All the cookies will go from the tray or from the group and they're gonna go into two plates and each plate has to have an equal number. So you're, you're sharing them in a fair way. You're dividing them into two equal parts, all right? So once you do that, then I want you to answer this question. How many cookies will each person get if we take 12 cookies and we divide them between two people? So that's your first job. Your second job, I want you to put the cookies all back into a group of 12. Start with your whole, always start with your whole before you start fractioning or dividing or partitioning. And this time, I want you to divide between four friends. So if you have four people and you divide those 12 cookies, you're gonna be passing those out and then you're gonna answer this question, how many cookies will each person get? So just go ahead and grab two more plates or two more pieces of paper so that you have four all together. And then do the same activity. Let me put mine back into a whole group. Again, if you pass out your cookies, you get a cookie and the friend gets a cookie. It'd be nice when we can share cookies again with our friends, won't it? And another friend gets a cookie. Remember, there's four of you, you and three friends. Okay, and just keep passing them out until all 12 are gone from this hole and now they're fractioned, they're divided, they're partitioned between four people. And then answer that question, how many cookies will each child get if there's four children and 12 cookies? All right, I know you're gonna have fun with this activity. So, remember, you're going to be coloring, cutting them out, grouping them, organizing them into a whole group of 12, and then you're going to pass them out to people first. How many cookies will each child get? And then four people. All right, that's your job for today. After that, if you wanna play with your cookies and just pass them out with different, um, in different ways, if you wanna try three friends or six friends, have fun with your cookies and um, explore too. That will be fun, a fun activity. All right. You've got a lot of work to do, so get busy, 
on your cookie activity partitioning job today. And until next time, have a good one.